to do a talk through video today you guys let me know if you like the talk through video better or if you prefer me to do the voiceover instead sometimes in my past videos I've done voiceovers I've never really done a talk through so you guys let me know if you like it or not okay so I'm about to go out and about so I just wanted to do a fall makeup look that was good for like an everyday look when you're just going out and about to like run errands and things like that so let's get started okay guys so I've already done my brows off camera um the only thing that I haven't done is um, I'm gonna add this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my LA girl pro concealer in beautiful bronze and I'm gonna apply that all over my lid and guys I forgot to put on my moisturizer you can't forget your moisturizer and okay, the moisturizer that I'm going to be using is this L'Oreal Revitalift moisture blur this is so good this is gonna serve as my moisturizer and as my primer it moisturizes the skin and it smooths the skin and for my skin type I have normal to well, I have normal. I have this normal skin. It mattifies my skin. So now we're gonna start on the eyes. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler Palette. And you guys probably remember this palette from the last beauty haul that I did. I'm not gonna put any primer on my eyelids because I use the concealer to um, take away any darkness that I had on my eyelids. So that's gonna also serve as my eyeshadow primer. What I'm going to do is get this color right here, and it is called Morocco. And this is going to serve as my transition color, and I'm using a Makeup Geek fluffy brush. I'm also gonna be taking some tape, I'm just putting that right there. This helps to give a clean, precise look. And I'm just going to apply the transition color in a windshield wiper motion. I'm also going to be going in circular motion just to make sure that the color is blending. And I'll also come in on the inner tear duct just a little bit there. Okay, so next I'm going to be using this color Fudge. And I'm going to be using a MAC 217 brush. And I'm just going to take fudge and place it on my outer V area and in my crease. And I'm just blending. All right, so now I'm going to take this color here called Intense Glaze. And I'm gonna place that on my lid. And I'm going to be using my fingers to do so. So now I'm going to take the MAC 217 blending brush that I was using. And I'm just going to clean that off. Blend out any harsh lines. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply concealer and powder. I'm not going to be doing like liquid foundation or anything this look is just going to be done with concealer and foundation powder so i'm taking this color fine and it is one of the la girl um pro concealers and i'm just going to highlight underneath my eye i'm going to also go down the bridge of my nose my forehead a little on my cupid bow and my chin then I'm gonna blend out the concealer and I'm gonna spray some of my matte charge water onto my sponge and I always like to wet my sponge before blending out concealer because it gives it 
a very um kind of airbrushed look and I'm just going around the areas outside of the concealer just to make sure it's blended out as well make sure you blend I just realized guys that I forgot to put my eyeliner on and my mascara yeah sometimes I forget steps guys when I'm doing my makeup do y'all have that problem as well like I will forget steps and be like oh god I forgot to put on my mascara I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal carbon black eyeliner pencil especially since it's just an everyday look I didn't want like a winged eyeliner look but of course Eat to each his own honey you know if you want to do a winged out eye you go for it and for mascara I'm just gonna be using this benefit roller lash I was gonna put on some lashes but I decided oh crap I got um mascara on my eyelid okay guys so I guess you guys are gonna learn a little um beauty trick <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna mess up, but hey, anytime like if you get too much eyeliner on your um, eyelid, or if you make a mistake like I just did and you get mascara on your eyelid, you can clean it up pretty easily. All you need is some makeup remover, and this is a Wet n Wild makeup remover, and like a Q-tip. This is actually a cosmetic Q-tip, but any kind of Q-tip will do. And you're just gonna put some of the um, makeup remover on the q-tip and you're just gonna go to the area where you messed up and just kind of pat a little bit and as you can see it's removed just a little bit then you're gonna go back in with your eyeshadow color that you use and just dab that on there honey problem solved <laughs> okay guys so now I'm gonna set my under eye with foundation powder and this is the black radiance powder foundation in honey amber and i like to use a sponge to set my under eye i just find that using a sponge cuts down on creasing like really bad creasing and i also use that same powder to set all the places where i put the concealer now i'm going to lightly contour my face not like heavy like crazy looking or anything and I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze. And I'm just using a um, Real Techniques contour brush. You don't even have to do all this if you don't want to. And I'm going to blend out the um, contour that I put on my nose with my finger just so it won't look harsh and crazy or whatever. Contouring with powder only just gives you a more natural contour. In my opinion, sometimes when you use liquids and creams, they are a little bit more intense. Not to say that using liquids or cream is not natural, but I think that powder, um, using powder, just a dark powder alone sometimes, it's just um, not as intense. Just depends on the look that you're going for. Now we are going to get to our foundation, and I'm gonna be using foundation powder. We're going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Powder, and this is in NC50. And I'm using a Sonya Kashuk brush. Now I'm going to go in with blush, and I'm going to be using Max Love Joy. And I'm going to be using this 6 Plus blush brush. Next, we're going to be highlighting. And I'm gonna be using my new Bobbi Brown highlighter. And this is in Bronze Glow. Crown brush, a crown brush, fan brush. And I'm just gonna highlight the highest points of my cheeks. Oh y'all, look at that Bobbi Brown Glow, honey. Yes, Bobbi Brown, woo! I'm gonna be using my Lime Prime lipstick and this is in the color Jinx. And now, I am going to spray my face with this NYX Matte Finish Spray. I guess I basically gave you guys a powder beat today, huh? Powder beat. 
Okay guys, this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. You guys, um, let me know what you think. Like I said, tell me if you like the talk through video.